lost entire generations, grandfathers, grandmothers. I did a video. Why would you prevent this man from branding his own cattle for crying out loud? You know, guys, this story of racism and apartheid and treating people less than their worth continues up till this day. Let's talk about the gender as well. Men being paid more than women doing the same job. Why is that the case? Even paid a woman more than a man for the same job. After all, he's a man. He's more capable. He's more physically able. This is Africa, the cradle of mankind's birth, where powerful kingdoms arose with stories of worth. A youth-filled land, the youngest population, with diamonds and cocoa for its fertile foundation, exemplary leaders, their legacy told. Nkrumah, Mandela, their spirits bold. From Johnson Sirleaf's Liberia, where freedom lies, and her first female leader, so wise. Let courage and dreams unite as one for a brighter tomorrow where greatness is spawn in this beautiful, colorful, and friendly domain. Greatness awaits, where hopes shall not wane, where tales of triumph weave a tapestry. Welcome to Today in African History. This is a snippet of the Nigeria Civil War in the year 1966. Now, the war started in 1966 and ended in 1970, ending the lives of millions of mostly Igbo people from the southern eastern region of Nigeria. From June through October 1966, pogroms in the north killed an estimated 8,000 to 30,000 Igbo, half of them children, and caused more than a million to two million to flee to the eastern region. 29 September 1966 became known as Black Thursday, as it was considered the worst day of the massacres. So this was just the beginning of troubles in Nigeria, these troubles led to the civil war that claimed millions of lives eventually over a three and a half year period. This is one of those histories that we would like to forget, but we need to be reminded that war is not a good thing. It's never a good thing. It doesn't bring any good to any country or to anyone. Families lost entire generations, grandfathers, grandmothers. I did a video uh, a few days ago, a few weeks ago, I think now, a couple of weeks ago, about um, probably the most famous Nigerian author, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, who was from this region, or who is from this region in Nigeria. How she lost her two sets of grandparents from both sides in this war. War is never a good thing. So Black Thursday happened on this day, September 29th, 1966, in Nigeria. West Africa. May that history not repeat itself. Last but not least, pictured here is Samora Michelle, who was born on this day, September 29, 1933, in Chilembene, in the country called Mozambique. He died tragically on the 19th of October 1986 in Mbuzini, South Africa. He was Mozambican politician who was the first president of independent Mozambique from 1975 to 1986. Michelle was born in a village of Madroga, which is today's Chilembene, Gaza province. Mozambique to a family of farmers under Portuguese rule 
His father, like most black Mozambicans, was classified by the demeaning term indigena, which meant or means native in the English language. He was forced to accept lower prices for his crops than white farmers. Compelled to grow labor-intensive cotton, which took time away from the food crops needed for his family, and forbidden to brand his mark on his cattle to prevent thievery. You know, some of the things that um, racism and apartheid did to Africans in Africa and racism to African Americans, you know, that's why um, a lot of people on these continents who have been affected by apartheid and racism are still bitter centuries later and decades later, you know. And recently I was watching a video about um, this popular South African guy who says he's going to be president of South Africa one day about the experiences that his mother went through, experiences he went through, how his mother was sleeping and he was essentially um, naked under the sheets and these soldiers came, white soldiers came and took off her, um, the cloth that was covering her body. And this young boy saw his mother naked and he's not forgotten the pain of that day. You know, um, there are things that we do, how we affect other people now. And now I'm, I'm digressing from racism, you know, to just treating each other with dignity, with um, compassion, some sensitivity in how you relate with your fellow human beings. And no matter how angry you are, you know, you should be able to empathize to a certain degree with the other human being because you don't know what people are passing through. So this young man now is determined to be president of South Africa and he is gaining momentum, gaining popularity in South Africa and may one day become president of South Africa. We don't know how he's going to handle his position, you know, but he is, he is an angry man and understandably so. I'm going to continue with this reading, you know, I'm getting a bit um, in a pensive mood, you know, to think about the horrors of racism that has occurred all over the world and continues to occur today, you know, to some extent. It's really, really unfortunate that in the 21st century and the 20th century, we had Africans in the United States and Africans on the African continent who suffered terribly in the hands of these so-called colonial masters. You know, it's it's really, really, really very painful. Um, the fact that a man like Nelson Mandela could forgive the atrocities that um, the colonialist and apartheid government meted on the people of South Africa and other Southern African countries, you know, is a thing to be um, respected. It's, it's a thing to be respected because it's not easy to forget the pain that um, people put you through. You know, we're all different. We have different personalities and different pain tolerances. So let me finish with this guy called Samora Michelle. So, like I said earlier, he was forced to accept lower prices for his crops than white farmers. Why? Was what he was producing of a lesser quality? It's the same soil, isn't it? You know, so you, you start thinking, why? Apart from the fact that this guy was black and then his own cattle, he was prevented from branding his own cattle to prevent thievery. Why would you prevent this man from branding his own cattle for crying out loud? However, Michelle's father was a successful farmer. He owned four plows and 400 head of cattle by 1940. Michelle grew up in this farming village and attended Mission Elementary School. In 1942, he was sent to school in the town of Zonbulene in Gaza province. He trained as a nurse in Portugal. Michel was attracted to anti-colonial ideals and began his political activities in the Miguel Bombarda Hospital in Lorenzao, Marques, where he protested against the fact that black nurses were paid less than whites during doing 
the same job. You know, guys, this story of racism and apartheid and treating people less than their worth continues up till this day in some circles. You know, let's talk about the gender as well. Men being paid more than women doing the same job. Why is that the case? Is there any um, good argument for paying a woman less than a man? In fact, some would say, why not even pay the woman more than a man for the same job? After all, he's a man. He's more capable. He's more physically able. One could argue that. But, you know, these injustices and indignities continue to thrive in our world even today. And most of us are silent about these injustices in our world. You know, it's time to speak up. It's time to speak up. If you find there's injustice wherever you work, be bold enough to speak up. Be that person who stands out of the crowd and says, this is not right. Rather than cower in fear and say, oh, if I speak up, I'm going to lose my job. I'm going to lose this. I'm going to lose that. Speak up wherever you find that things are going wrong. Okay, guys, that's the end of today's today in African history. I went on and on on a rant, but, you know, these are things I'm passionate about. Injustice in one place is injustice everywhere and anywhere. Injustice is so, so, so wrong. You know, it's one of the things that, it's my pet peeve, you know, it's one of the things that really gets me angry when I see injustice anywhere. It just does not make sense to me. Thank you for dropping by once again. And guess if you're dropping by once again to our channel, thanks for your support. If you're a subscriber, I appreciate it very, very much. If you are enjoying our content and you haven't subscribed yet, why not, so, why not support our young fledgling channel so that we can reach more like-minded people all over the world. If you are here for the first time, thanks for dropping by. This is what we do every single day and we plan to do this to produce a video a day until the 30th of June 2024. Support our young fledgling channel by subscribing liking the video, sharing the video, and turning on your notification bell. Until tomorrow, it's hasta la vista. Bye-bye.